Line Racetrack in Toronto, the 2001 Championship Final of the Breeders' Crown. Three-year-old pacing fillies, and they're off. And Bunny Lake came rushing right off the wings of the gate. Cathedra.com is looking to dive in from second. Maubel Hall will be relegated to third. Crossing over the far outside is Sam Slickers going on. Maubel Hall is on a break, and dropping in neatly from fourth will be Northern Accord to get a good early seat. Raging Heart is along the inside. Now fifth into the first turn. Castanet Hall is sixth. Maubel Hall landed back down pacing. Out of pleasure chest, Gothic Lady, and turn it on was tenth and last away. Moving up on the outside to challenge Bunny Lake and trying to cross over is Sam Slickerish. Sam Slickerish has overtaken Bunny Lake and Miller seizes the moment. He's moving to the outside with Cathedra.com. Lots of drama early in this one. The quarter was in 26 seconds flat. There goes Cathedra.com over Sam Slickerish. Bunny Lake and John Stark Jr. tips her right back out. Two more lengths to Northern Accord racing along in fourth. Raging Heart is fifth, Castanet Hall from sixth. After the early break, Maubel Hall landed back down pacing from seventh out of Pleasure Chest, then along the inside to turn it on, and Gothic Lady trailed. 54 and four was the half. Bunny Lake again up front. Cathedral.com is second. Sand Slicker is third. Here comes Raging Heart to the outside. Northern Accord stayed in from fifth. Castanet Hall, sixth on the outside. There goes Maubel Hall, seventh on the outside, just ahead of Turn It On, Pleasure Chest, and Gothic Lady. Bunny Lake turns for home. She passed three quarters in 124 and 1. It was a more moderate third quarter of 29 and 2. Bunny Lake second time on the lead. She's in the lane now in her Breeders' Crown. Three-year-old pacing Phillies final and it appears there's no bottom to this lake. Bunny Lake is going under some urging. Cathedra.com comes to the outside but Bunny Lake has done it again. She's deeper than an ocean. Bunny Lake wins the Breeders' Crown over Cathedra com then back to raging heart against pleasure chest bunny lake all the way in 152 and 4 Return to the Woodbine Winter Circle, the Breeders' Crown three-year-old pacing Phillies champion of 2001, Bunny Lake, by Precious Bunny from Lake Nona, bred by Peter Heffering of Port Perry, Ontario, owned by W. Springtime Racing Stable of Johnstown, New York, trained and driven to victory by John Stark, Jr., that's 17 wins in 19 starts this year. Bunny Lake captures the Breeders' Crown in 152-4. I know that one gentleman who wants to give his horse a big round of applause is John Stark Jr. because Bunny Lake has been absolutely fantastic. John, what's the key to her consistency, not only her speed? Boy, I wish I knew. I have no idea how she does it week after week, traveling, the, the, and she just shows up every week. She also had a real test tonight because of all the changes in lead early on in this race. Uh, were you concerned at all by the pressure that you had to withstand early on? Well, at the start it looked good, and then uh, Dubay come out of there, and then... Uh, and then I was trying to let him go, and then she starts grabbing on, and uh, she just didn't want to let give up the lead that quick. And then I knew as soon as I give the lead, I was uh, uh, Dave Miller was going to pop out of three hole. But I wasn't worried because I knew once he cleared, I cleared because I, I see that we had enough. Uh, there was a big gap behind him, so I wasn't worried about getting trapped in. You uh, you're picking up your first Breeders' Crown win here, uh, not only as a driver but also as a trainer. How gratifying is it for you to be able to do both for this uh, very talented individual? Well, uh, to, for her to go this long, and I would have never figured she'd be this sharp at this time of the year. And, uh, you know, it's just amazing that she can keep doing it. And, John, I want to ask you uh, also that the horse has raced through the state of New York and you've kept her fresh in spite of the fact that she's had uh, so many challenges throughout the year. Uh, what more can you ask from this filly, and what can we expect to see from her in the future? Well, uh, we'll probably race her next uh, Saturday at the Meadows and then the following uh, two weeks at Northfield. But uh, she, as long as she keeps going the way she is, we'll just keep racing her.
Well, racing fans are certainly enjoying a, a treat by watching Bunny Lake, and congratulations to John Stark, Jr. That's 16 consecutive wins for this filly.